So these are the boots that I wear when I, <laughs> you're going to think I'm too old for this, but when I get dressed up and we go country dancing or, or something, I, I like a nice boot to wear. I like to match my shirt and my belt and my boots together. I like an expensive boot. I like a nice skin on my boot. Um, of course, I have my boots that I wear when I rodeo, but folks, there's no attachment to these kind of boots. The first time they get a little bit too scuffed up to wear, if you ever get a hole in the bottom of them, then you're done. You know, you don't, you don't wear them anymore. You pass them on to Goodwill or anyone who wants them, but it's work boots that become a part of you, that become a part of your soul. Hey folks, Lester here. And uh, I've come down along my fence line uh, on the driveway here and I'm uh, trying to clean some things up and I'm not gonna lie folks I have neglected this part of my uh, my yard my driveway for a very long time you can see the fence here which actually belongs to the church the actual fence has still been it's still pushed over all the way this has been this way for three years since Hurricane Harvey the flood and uh, as I'm pushing some things up along the fence line digging some things out Folks, I ran across something and it's pretty much just kind of flooded me with some really neat memories. Folks, looky here. <laughs> this here is my boot. I, uh, a little bit emotional because I thought I had lost that thing. Well, I mean, I had lost it. And uh, to how strange it is, to come down here along the driveway three years later to start cleaning up some things that I'd been putting off for years just because it's just extra work that I never really had time for. And as I'm pushing and raking along these leaves along this pushed over fence line, I run across one of my old boots. Now, obviously it's, it's, <laughs> it's about in the same shape as my boots now. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all something and I don't think you're going to understand. I'm pretty sure most of y'all won't get this. But there's something about a pair of boots. Let me take off one of my boots that I'm wearing now and put it beside this one here. Folks, I know what you're thinking. Lester, you would bound to make enough money to go buy yourself a new pair of boots because those look about ridiculous. Guys, it's not about that. I have enough money to buy a pair of boots. I actually have a brand new pair of boots. But it's not about that. There is just something special and there's something personal about folks that work in boots. And it makes it hard to ever get rid of them and trade them out for a new pair. And you know, there's no greater testament to that than what's going on with Jamie at the house right now. Now, uh, I should probably let Jamie tell her own story, but I'll drive up in a few minutes and uh, let her talk about her boots. But uh, listen to me, folks. This is... Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry about this. But uh, now i got dogs barking at me because I... Even dogs have a hard time seeing a grown man well up. Uh, I'm so happy I found this. Yeah, I can't do much with it. But uh, it has been, this thing was with me, folks, from the beginning. And I know some of y'all have been with me since the beginning, post-Hurricane Harvey flood. But this is the thing that I used to wear before the flood. One of them. How many of y'all have ever heard about a, a wife going through her husband's stuff after he's passed and finding an old pair of boots out in the barn where he's stuffed things into them? Money or a letter or pictures or some kind of keepsake. I wish I could have somebody who can analyze that for me and tell me why we do that. Why we never can seem to get rid of things, even after they're obviously worn out. Oh, I'm so happy I found this. It was buried, y'all. 
right up along that fence line, buried under all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna go up and show Jamie. I have to wait till my fire burns down a little bit first. Uh, in case you're wondering about the fire, I, I know a lot of people panic and I understand why. You folks who live along the West Coast, you have seen your fair share of fires and smoke and air quality just in the last few months. And I, and I hope this doesn't bring back any bad memories for you all. But uh, I'm not worried about my fire catching out. It, it can't. The reason I say that is because the grass over on the side of the church here is still green. And green grass doesn't burn. There's uh, no kindling for it to catch on to. So I'm just cleaning up my ditches. And uh, how weird is it that three years since Hurricane Harvey and I haven't cleaned these ditches in that long. Uh, running across that boot was special. I wonder where the other one's at. <laughs> that's that's kind of interesting how they could gotten separated. Because I know I'm trying to think back to the day that I, uh, the last time I wore them would have been the morning of the flood. And I remember I took them off because I was afraid that if I had to wade through deep water, you know, your boots can get heavy. And there have been people drowned because their boots fill up with water and get heavy and they couldn't kick them off. And I remember I'd put on tennis shoes, uh, had a pair of tennis shoes I put on when I left. And so those boots would have been sitting on my porch. I'm sure of it. And how one of them, how one of my boots made its way down my driveway. Let me kind of show you a perspective of how that boot had to have traveled. I, I wish I had a GPS on it. <laughs> to be honest, I would have loved to have seen how that thing, the journey it's been on. And I, I swear, talking about that flood brings back some really weird feelings inside of me. And finding that boot, it reminds me of last year when I found Patty's brush. I run across that old brush. No, that boot, y'all. That boot somehow made its way from way up there. Now, of course, this fence was not here. There was a different fence here. Uh, but there was a fence here. There's a fence on both sides. I've always had a fence on both sides. But in that high water, you know, that water was six foot inside my home. So that water's probably, the house is on a hill, so that water's probably eight, ten foot deep through here. And somehow that boot managed its way <laughs> down this driveway somehow and pushed itself right along this fence. All right, I'm getting smoked out. Let me move out move out of the way a little and bit. I'll get to the house and let Jamie talk about her boots a little bit. And I know she's a lot better with words. She's a whole lot more articulate than I am. And I believe she can kind of tell you something about boots that a lot of you folks may not understand. You, you still might not understand. Uh, let's take one last peek at my boot. I'm not going to save it at this point. Who knows what all has been living in this thing. And I honestly, I don't know how I can get rid of it though. I'll tell you what, it wasn't this bad. It wasn't this bad when I had it. All that dry rot has happened from laying here in the sun and the rain and the damp ground being covered up by all kinds of stuff probably had all kinds of stuff living inside of it over the over the course of the three years you know found it right over here right about where that fence is pushed over so much so lester's talking about boots i'm gonna chime in here on mine my boots are a wreck they are a hot mess express i can feel every pebble every little rock through those thin worn out soles Water gets in them really easy. I can feel it from the bottom, from the top. Doesn't matter. But these boots, these boots have been a part of me, my evolution here on the farm. You know, they have, they've been on rescues. They've chased animals down to get them back in the pastures. They've built fences. They've built the barn. They've been stepped on. They've been bled on, pooped on, peed on. I mean, you name it. They've been through it all. The dirt that's inside all of those stitches and creases are, they're just a loaded story, really. 
you know, then during Imelda, they actually came off of my feet out in the mud. I was stuck and the water was so high and rushing that I thought that I lost them forever. I had to wait for the water to go down to actually find them. And I did, but they've been, you know, they've delivered babies. They've been to the woods to find donkeys that were born as we searched for them. They've been a part of the end of life too. And they've buried some of our babies. They just hold so much emotion for me. And I, I'm not ready to part with them yet. I'm not. So even though I have beautiful new boots, beautiful ones, someone sent those to me. They're comfortable. They fit perfectly. They're the same exact brand. I'm just not ready.